Hi everyone. So in this video we're actually going to be working with solving rational functions. What this means is we're going to be solving something like this. Where you're going to have equations and rational expressions and you have to solve for a variable. So before we actually go ahead and work on a couple problems, what we're going to do is we're going to look at all the steps. Whenever you're solving rational functions, your first step is you always have to find an LCD. The reason why we have, we have to find an LCD is because we need to be able to find a common denominator so that we can add these fractions or subtract these fractions. Now once you find this LCD, you want to work on step two. You only want to worry about the top. You want to find out what's missing and then you're going to cancel out the bottom when you figure that out. Then your third step is, well, you want to solve for this x. And lastly, after you find x, make sure that your x is not equal to the undefined points or restriction points. And in other words, what your LCD cannot equal to, which we'll get into when we're working on problems. So we're going to take a look at this first example. 1 over x minus 5 plus 1 over x minus 5 equals 4 over x squared minus 25. Now the second that we're working with fractions, we have to factor everything out. So you'll notice that this can actually get factored out to give you x minus 5, x plus 5, since it's a difference of squares. Now your next step, your next step is the most important step. You want to be able to figure out what your LCD is going to be. Your LCD is everything your denominator has, except you want to make sure you, correct, you pick the correct one. So you'll notice that, well, your LCD, your denominator, they have an x minus 5 in your denominator, so that's going to be part of your LCD. Now the reason why it's just 1x minus 5 is because all these x minus 5s are to the first power, so that's why you only take one of them out. Also, what else is in your LCD? x plus 5. So you have to make sure that you, in your LCD you put everything your denominator has. Now your next step is, well, let's actually solve this. Since my first expression is 1 over x minus 5, I'm going to ask myself, well, what's missing? What's missing here that's in my LCD? Hopefully you said x plus 5. So I'm going to multiply the top and the bottom by x plus 5. Then the middle one. What's missing? x plus 5. So I'm going to multiply the top and bottom by x plus 5 again. Now over here in the last one, is there anything missing or is that part of your LCD? This is your entire LCD so I don't have to multiply 4 by anything because it's not missing anything from the LCD. Now your next step is just focus on the top. x plus 5 times 1, which is x plus 5, x plus 5 times 1, another x plus 5 equals 2, 4. Now the reason why you don't want to worry about your LCD is because your LCD is actually going to cancel out. So if I were to put this on every single denominator, One, it gets very tedious, but also, once you get the same LCD, you're told to cancel everything out. So what's the point of writing it over again if you're going to just cancel it out? So that's why I said just worry about the top. Now you're going to solve it. x plus x will give you a 2x. 5 plus 5 will give you a 10 equals to 4. Your next step is not just solve for x. Minus 10, minus 10. You get 2x equals to negative 6 solve for x, divide by 2, divide by 2, then you get x is equal to negative 3. Now before I say that's my final answer, what I want to do is the last step, step 4. Make sure your x does not make your LCD undefined. So what you want to do, since your LCD is the numbers that go on the bottom, you want to set them both equal to 0. If you set this equal to 0, you're going to get that x cannot equal to 5, as well as negative 5. So as long as these restriction points do not match up with your answer, then this is your answer. If this happened to be the same answer as that one, you'd cross it out and put no solution. Okay, so let's look at another example. 1 over x squared minus x plus that. Well, first step, factor out. So I'm going to take out a common x. Because they both have an x, you're going to take out a common x and you're going to be left with x minus 1. Here I can't factor anything out. Here, two terms, that means I can take out an x. They both have x, x minus 1. Now you're going to look for your LCD. Your LCD is everything your denominator has, but remember the order. Numbers, variables, and then parentheses. There's no numbers on the outside of them, but there is a variable. X. X to what power? This is to the first, this is to the first, and this is to the first. So this is just going to be X to the first. What about parentheses? Any parentheses? X minus 1. So once you find your LCD, your next step is just multiply the tops, the numerators, by whatever is missing in that denominator. So look at this denominator first. X, X minus 1 x, x minus 1. That means it's not missing anything. So move on to the next one. x. What's it missing? It's 
It's missing x minus 1. So I'm just going to multiply the top by x minus 1. This one, x, x minus 1, x, x minus 1. So that means I don't have to multiply the first or the last one because it happens to be the LCD. So now I'm just going to focus on the top. Well, here, since I didn't multiply anything, I just, I'm left with a 1. Here, 1 times x minus 1 is just going to be x minus 1. I didn't have to multiply anything, so it's just a 5. Solve for x. 1 and the negative 1s cancel out. You're left with x equals to 5. Now, before you box in this answer, make sure that your restriction points are not going to be 5. So this cannot equal to 0. Anytime there's an x on the outside, it always can equal to 0. x minus 1, you'll get x equals to 1. So it cannot equal to 1. So as long as these don't match up with your answer, this is your final answer and you can keep it moving. Okay? So we'll do two more. The hardest part about this is literally the factoring. If you're okay with factoring finding LCD, then solving for x is going to be fine. So now let's look at this one, a more complicated one. I have a 2x. Can I do anything with this? No. What about here? I can take out an x. Remember, anytime there's two terms, see if you can take out a GCF. I can take out an x. I'm going to be left with x minus 6. Then look at the next one. I can take out a 2x, and I'm going to be left with x minus 6. So now once you factor everything out, find your LCD. Remember, LCD is whatever your denominator has. You want to look at numbers, variables, and then parentheses. So now looking at your denominator, is there any numbers? There's a 2 and a 2. That means your LCD has to have a 2 in it because there's a 2 in the equation. What about variables? Any outside x's? There's an x, x and x, x to the power. They're all raised to the first, so it's just going to be x. Any parentheses? x minus 6. So now that I know my LCD is 2x, x minus 6, this is when I'm going to figure out what do I have to multiply by. Well, my first denominator has a 2x. I'm missing the x minus 6, so I'm going to multiply this by x minus 6. Now, the reason why I don't multiply to the bottom is because the bottom one cancel out anyways. What about the second term? I have an x, I have an x minus 6. What am I missing? I'm missing that 2. So I'm going to multiply the entire numerator by a 2. Now lastly, 2x, x minus 6. 2x, x minus 6, I'm not missing anything, so I'm going to leave this alone. Now the one thing I want you to be careful about. When you're rewriting everything, x minus 6 times 1 equals to 2 times 5x plus 15 is this sign right here. Anytime you get a negative and a problem, you want to make sure you put whatever's around it, sorry, whatever's behind it in parentheses because you're going to have to distribute this negative. So now when you work everything out, you're going to get 10x plus 30 minus x minus 6 because you have to distribute this negative. You can't forget. And then work everything out. Combine like terms. Now it doesn't matter where you move everything as long as you have everything organized. And you're going to get x is going to equal to negative 15 over 4. Okay? So when you work everything out, you're going to get x is equal to negative 15 over 4. And then also you can change it to a decimal as well. But before you box in your answer, make sure your denominators cannot equal that. So anytime there's an x on the outside, that means x cannot equal to 0. And anytime it's in there, always pick opposite, x cannot equal to 6. So as long as 0 and 6 are not my final answer, I am done, box it in, and you can move on to the next problem. Okay, So anytime you're trying to work on an LCD, the hardest part is honestly factoring. If you can factor out your denominators, you want to figure out what your denominator has, and that's part of your LCD. Alright, thanks for watching, guys.